In previous tutorials, I've shown two techniques. One showed how we can turn hyperlinks into bootstrap buttons, and the other showed how we can use filter codes to personalize the appearance of what appears on the screen. Well, I can actually combine the two, and I can actually use filter codes to show different things to different people based on their role within the course. So in this case, I've set it so that the red buttons are visible to everybody, but the orange buttons are only visible to those that are teachers on the course. And then I've further differentiated it so that if you are a non-editing teacher, you don't actually see the groups button because it, that isn't relevant to the non-editing teacher. So if I just quickly show you what the student sees. So at the moment, here's my student. You see that the student doesn't see the, um, the orange buttons. I'm just going to very quickly change the role of the student so that they become a non-editing teacher. And if I save and then I refresh, you'll see that the non-editing teacher now sees those two buttons. And if I then make the role into a teacher, they will then see the third button appearing in the middle when I refresh. So you can see how it takes effect so that depending on the role that you've got, you see different things. So the way that this works, we're using the filter codes plugin and it gives you the kind of the syntax that you need. So it's a really useful list this. And what we want is down towards the bottom where it says roles. So it tells you all the sorts of things that you can do. But what I'm using here is if min teacher and if min assistant. So I'm just going to come back into my course and I'm going to turn editing on. And I'm going to edit this label that contains the buttons. Now, if I expand it so we can see, if we look at this line of yellow buttons around the outside of it, I've got an opening if min assistant and then a closing if min assistant. So what that means is everything that appears in between those two statements is only visible if you have the role of non editing teacher. That's what the assistant refers to or above. So if you're a non editing teacher or you're a teacher or you're a manager, you would see everything between them. In other words, the three buttons. But what I've then done is I've added an additional layer. So I've now got this bit in the middle, which says if min teacher. So only if you are a editing teacher or above, do you see the middle bit? And that's why the editing teacher will see the groups button, but the non editing teacher doesn't. So by adding in that code there, when I save it, as long as my filter codes are turned on, it will then show or hide the buttons according to the user's role. So it can be a very elegant way, a much tidier way of creating links to certain things uh, and then different people seeing different links based on what their role is. I'm Dave Ford. If you wish to get in touch, then please look at my contact details on the screen. I'm based in the UK, but I work with organisations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.